What's up guys, Siobhan here back with a brand new video. Today I'm bringing a review of my new lens. So I just got this new lens. I picked it up used for 200 bucks. It's the Sony 50 millimeter lens f1.8 i also have a filter on top it's just a clear filter to protect the lens it's not like an nd filter or anything but basically guys we're going to test out this lens to see how great it does outside but i heard i just heard that it's really cold outside hey google how cold is it outside the current temperature in brampton is minus 16. there is currently an extreme cold warning in effect but i don't care i'm still gonna jump out i think i have enough clothes to to like take on this cold have some double layer and everything so I'm just gonna test out the lens guys I'm recording with my kit lens right now and goddamn this thing is heavy Woo! all right so I have my tripod my kit lens the Sony Alpha a6500 4k and everything I think I'll jump on to like some 1080p to get some nice slow-mo shots outside but without any further ado guys let's jump outside to see what this lens right here is capable of doing let's go Okay guys, so off the jump, we could see that we're outside, but I just want to point out that this isn't gonna be the best lens for vlogging because as you can see, if I flip the camera around, it's all up in my face. It's a fixed lens, 50 millimeters, so you won't get that wide range, but if I switch back to the kit lens, which is the 10 to 50 mil, this is what we would get. So as you can see guys, this is the kit lens, the 10, to 50 the 18 to 50 mil and as you can see we have a wider field of view we can see more so this would be the ideal lens for vlogging if you're just starting out this would be like the best kit lens you could get because it comes with the camera and you don't have to pay extra so yeah i would definitely go for a kit lens if i'm thinking about vlogging but let's jump back onto the 50 mil to show you guys the shallow depth of field so this is with the kit lens if i'm trying to like get that shallow depth of field see it's it's kind of impossible you can still see the background really nicely but if I jump on to the 50 mil right now I'm gonna show you what it looks like with that shallow depth of field and onwards I won't go on to the kit lens anymore I'll just be jumping on to the 50 mil for the rest of the video okay guys so here you can see us with the 50 millimeters you can see the difference right here it's a bit sharper and the background has a little more shallow depth of field but we're gonna continue our journey guys just walk through the lake get some cinematic shots for you guys and let's just see how it goes i'll give my impressions along the way to keep you guys updated guys so as I'm walking I was like you know what let me just take some quick pictures too to show you guys what the camera the image quality looks like so I'm gonna snap a few pics right now guys so let's get started Like this, like that, like that. 
I'm not really sure if I'm in film or anything, but there's a few things I've learned with the camera so far. Not the camera, but the lens specifically. It's really cold outside. I'm freezing right now. But a few things I learned is that it's really loud. So when it's auto focusing, it gets really loud. Another thing that it takes so long to auto focus, guys. Honestly, uh, I didn't expect that because I always sit down and shoot. It takes really long to auto focus. Also, it provides a really good shallow depth of field. No doubt about that. Picture quality is amazing. And the only downside is that it's loud when auto focusing. It takes long to auto focus. And it's a fixed lens. So you can't really zoom in and out. But to me, it was definitely worth the purchase. Um, hopefully you guys like this video. As I said before, if you're looking for something to vlog with, definitely stick with the kit lens or find another wide angle lens, cheap wide angle lens. If like if you're wondering if it's worth it, to me it was. Woo! It was definitely worth the price because I get that awesome shot depth of feeling, especially when taking portraits. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone to take portraits of me right now because no one wants to come out in the cold. I asked all my cousins, they all said no. But let's see, maybe when I get back, I'll find some portrait shots. I'll force him to come outside to take some quick portraits. But without any further ado, guys, signing out. <laughs> Yes guys, hope you enjoyed that video, I had so much fun, it was super cool though, back on the kit length right now, but yes guys, um, I just want to let you know that I'll be live streaming tomorrow, so if you want to see me go live, I'll be live streaming tomorrow, but not on YouTube because as you can see, they have, like they disabled my live streaming, so I can't live stream on YouTube anymore, for now, um, I don't know when it will be done guys, but this is the video that got copyrighted so i can't live stream until february the 6th and that's pretty far so what i'll be live streaming on is this app called cam frog right here this is the app just go and download it follow me right now guys this is my name siobhan salmon underscore please go and follow me right now so i could live stream with you guys this is gonna be super fun because you could send gifts and all of that so hopefully you guys would enjoy the live streams it's gonna be super super lit cam frog Chevron someone underscore download the app right now guys and we'll have some fun tomorrow night or in the morning Though any further ado hope you enjoyed the video love peace and tweaks uh, you know don't forget to follow me on camp for a boy